Okay, it's a big time for Keith Worth Valley Railway, the 50th anniversary, and organiser for everything is Kieran Pillsworth. Hello, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, yeah. Tell us how it all came about. How much organising has this big eight-day event taken? Um, it probably started well over a year ago. Um, we hold events throughout the year, as you're probably aware, but it's usually two or three days, and we try and get everything out, put it all back in the box at the end of it, and it just doesn't always show everything the railway has to offer. So the idea of the event was to spread the, you know the days out do different things on different days and that also allowed us to do stuff for our members because whilst the railway is all about public trains and things like that we've got to remember the people that set them up 50 years ago and without them putting the time and dedication in, then it wouldn't have happened and there's a lot of uh, events happening over the next few days that does say well thanks and, and pay homage to those guys yeah so eight days we've got three days at the minute with royal scott um that's the type of engine we had here 50 years ago but could never run the railway wasn't good enough to run then so that shows the progression over 50 years that we can now run those kind of engines on this line uh, then we go to a smaller engines day and that's kind of your vintage carriages and the older engines and again when the line started in the 60s and 70s it was small engines hauling lots of coaches and it wasn't really suitable for the railway but it's good to pay homage to that friday is all about our older members you know the ones that set it up so it'll be the original engine on as much of the original train as possible and then a massive weekend of celebrations finishing with diesel which of course for people like myself that don't quite remember steam uh, is something that i remember as growing up as a child too it's a bit of a misconception you don't need to be a, a train nerd to like trains or come and help here don't have to be geeky then uh, some of us are <laughs> uh, especially my colleagues that stood near me that are laughing at me a minute but um, I mean I grew up with trains you know granddad used to take me out on trains that's how I got into it but we have people that generally come because they just like being with a group of lads a group of women or going to the pub after and it's a bit the camaraderie kind of thing it's not just a train geeky railway and it's not just all about trains there's, you know, there's catering, there's shops and things like that there are lots of opportunities here to get involved and get dirty kind of thing and you want people to come down there is a commemorative uh, anniversary um, brochure it's lovely yeah, we, again, we wanted someone to explain what we were doing because it's easy enough to tell people what you're doing, but there's things that go unnoticed and there's a lot of time and effort goes into thinking about these little bits that are going on. Uh, a good example, we've brought an engine in from another railway down in Worcester, the Summer Valley Railway. Uh, that's similar to one that was in the Railway Children. And we're running that on Thursday with some of the ex-London underground carriages because ours was an excellent underground engine. So a very geeky connection, but it's something that we can kind of look back and go, well, that's why we're doing that, because it's linked to that. And similar to the Royal Scott engine today, we used to have one of those on site and it can never run. And that's what the link is about the gala. The, everything to do with this gala links back in some way to 50 years of this railway. Well, a happy anniversary, let me just say, and I hope all of your planning comes off. Uh, me too. I'm just <laughs> hoping the hair lasts the week. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. And the weather we're hoping stays nice. Uh, yeah, I mean... It, it's not raining, which is always a plus, and the hot weather will bring people out, so it's great that people can come and enjoy it. Lovely. Well, thank you very much, Kieran, no worries, for chatting to us, and come down.